Okay, we have here today an interesting integral from the UNSW integration B2023. This was problem two. We have the integral from zero to two pi, one over two plus cosine x dx. Okay, the first thing I tried to do with this was a half angle substitution. What I wanted to do was set t equal to tan of x over two. And the reason I do this is this substitution tends to work really well when we're adding sine or cosine in the denominator. But the only problem I had was these bounds because the trouble we have here is tan of x over two it's not continuous on these bounds. So I still wanted to do this, but what I need to do is I need to shift these bounds first. What I'll do is try a different substitution to get started in order to just shift the bounds. So what I can do for this is a substitution like u equal to x minus pi, and then I can just add pi on both sides and solve for x. So we're gonna have x is equal to u plus pi, and we'll take a derivative, dx is gonna be du. And so then I'll just go ahead and we'll make the substitution. So plugging in two pi in here first, the upper bound becomes pi and then plugging zero in, now this lower bound is minus pi. But now this is gonna set me up for that substitution I wanna do because now we're gonna be continuous with these bounds. So continuing with this, dx is just gonna become du. We'll have two, and then for cosine, just plugging in for x, this is gonna become u plus pi. But next what we can do is we can use an identity for this. If you just notice, we're just taking cosine and shifting it by 180 degrees. So for the value for this, this is gonna be just minus cosine of u. So what I can do is let's just rewrite this, but now this is gonna become two minus cosine of u, and we'll have our du there and the bounds are the same. But now one other thing I can do with cosine is because cosine's even, it turns out this whole thing is gonna be an even function. So what I can do here, because the whole thing is even and we have symmetric bounds, I can update the lower bound here, I can update this bound to zero, and all I need to do is bring a two out front. But now with the integral in this form, I can do that substitution I wanted to do. So I'm gonna take my t and we'll say t is gonna be tan of u over two. And I've done videos in the past deriving all the formulas related to the half angle substitution. So I'm not gonna derive those again, but I'll just provide them here. And I'll also provide a link in the description if you wanna check out those other videos. But what you can do from this is derive a value for du, and that's just gonna be two over one plus t squared dt, and you also can derive a value for sine of u and for cosine of u. So our value that we need for cosine of u, this is just gonna be one minus t squared over one plus t squared. So we'll just go ahead with this substitution now. So we're gonna have our two in front, plugging pi in right here, we have tan of pi over two, but that's going to infinity. And then we plug a zero in tan of zero, that's just gonna be zero. And then for our du value here, we're gonna have just have this. So I'm gonna write this as two, dt, the one plus t squared, I'm gonna bring it all the way out here, just so we can multiply it back in. Then we're gonna have our two minus cosine, which is just this, one minus t squared, one plus t squared. Now from here, I'll just take this two and bring it out front, multiply times this two, so I'm gonna have four in front, and then to distribute this one plus t squared in here and to the two, so let's see, we're gonna have dt in the numerator, distributing in one plus t squared times two, that's gonna give me two, plus two t squared. Then distributing here, this is gonna essentially cancel with this and we're gonna end up by distributing the minus sign. So this is gonna be minus one plus t squared. And so we can just simplify everything here and combine like terms. So this is gonna become, what's gonna happen here is two t squared plus t squared. This is gonna give me three t squared. Two minus one, that's just gonna be one. But what I wanna do here is I could actually factor out a three. So we can write this, I can turn this into like a one third right here and rewrite this, but I wanna bring the, but I wanna take this three out front. So when I do that, it's gonna come out in the denominator. So this is gonna become four thirds, and then we're gonna have this integral, but then this is gonna become just t squared plus one over three. But what I'll do, I'll take this one over three and I'll rewrite this as one over square root of three, all squared, but then this integral is in exactly the right form for arctan. Okay, so we have our arctan formula over here. Now, one thing to notice, our a value is one over square root of three. So if we take this and we have one over one over square root of three, this is actually just gonna become square root of three when we flip it. So let's do this thing out. We're gonna have our four thirds in front. Then for our one over a, this is gonna become square root of three arctan. And then again, we're gonna have just, this is gonna become square root of three t. We just need to evaluate from zero to infinity. So let's see if I have space down here. So we're gonna have four thirds squared to three. Then first we evaluate infinity. Arctan of infinity, this is gonna be just pi over two. And then for the second piece, arctan at zero, that's just gonna be zero. I can cancel two with four, we'll have a two here. 
And I think we could basically leave it like this, but I think what I'll do is try to match the UNSW solution and multiply by square root of three over square root of three here. So what's gonna happen here is these are gonna cancel with this. Multiplying all this together, we're left with our final solution of just two pi over square root of three. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from UNSW 2023. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.